lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to convert rows into column in ISCS Informatica. So this is your incoming or source data. And after performing the mapping inside of ISCS, then we need to get data like this. So you can see a count number can see this all in rows and after performing, you can see this all converting to the columns. So let's see the mapping. So I already created the mapping to save some time. So let's check here source first. So source here, you can see this is the customer table that I'm using this customer table. And the next is if I click on this preview data, then you can see this data that's present there column one, column two is the column and connection HR connection. This is the object. Then after the next is I'm using the expression transformation. Let's see all the properties there. So this incoming field call one and call two, this all is string. In expression, there I have taken the four output column. So this all or output column. Here you can see this output, this here output column or output field this here output field and this also here output field now the next is here you can see integer string integer account number and amount is the integer both rest to or string so here account number and amount is the integer is there so that i have taken currency is a string bank name is string so that here taken the data type string after that, this there I do the calculation. So in expression, if call one equal to amount, then return call two. So here, if call one equal to a count number, then that return call two. So this value that return. Okay. So if this has call number, then that value return. Then after the next is this here. If call one equal to currency, then that return call two. If call one equal to currency, this value, then that return currency. INR that return. Like that way. Other is if call one equal to amount, then return call two. So if this amount is there, then that return call two. Then after the next is here. If call one equal to bank name, then that return call two. So this is back then the time to your call to. So after that, if you validate this all valid is there, this is the things I've done inside expression transformation. I'm using the aggregated transformation. So let's see all the properties inside aggregator. So here, this is the incoming field is there, this all. And uh, this all is there. So let's make that group for it. So if uh, you if uh, the uh, column has any or duplicate values, so we can make that into the group by. So let's add here call one into the group by. After that, inside aggregator, then I have taken output field of the count number, and this all second is output field of amount, bank name, output field. And this here currency also output field. So since uh, account number and bank uh, here amount both are integer. So here you can see account number and amount is integer. So that I have taken the integer and rest is now a string. Both two are a string. Then I have set this expression max o account number. So here this account number that or set here max value of account number and here the same thing amount that max amount so whatever the amount is there that is straight to the amount then max or o bank number then this go to the bank number. so like that currency that go to the currency so this all things that i have done inside aggregate transformation now the next is 
here let's select the target and inside the target you can see this all are incoming fields so in the output we need to get here in output we need to get account number amount bank name and currency so here account number this we need to get in the output field so that they have excluded so if i click there here i excluded call one call to or account o bank o currency this all excluded okay so this excluded there and i need this fits only so that there are that excluded this one after that or uh, what we need to do so let's run this mapping and there's one important thing inside so this here target Let's give more over here, new target field. So this is here. Click on this select. And runtime creating a static file name. So let's give here cost dot csv. So this time I'm going to create the cost dot csv. Let's click OK. So this here cost.csv. Now the next is let's click on this save. So mapping is now valid. Click on this run. And let's click on this run. So mapping is now running. Let's click on this job. So this job is starting there. Let's do some replace. So this is success now. And if I go there, row data and cost CSV file that's created. So since I have make a, make that maybe sorted into enable so that this or garbage value kind of output that's displayed. So what we need to do? So let's go back to this mapping and here let's check that group by making. So let's remove this one. Save and rerun. Let's check this. This is starting once again. This is success now. And let's go on into this. So here, this time it's getting the output in the correct format. So in aggregate transversal, you don't need to make that into a group point. So let's compare with the input and output. So this is the input is there and account number the value is now that displaying this all 457 this is amount this here displaying next is bank name bank name displaying SBI currency is now INR that's displaying. so this all are in rows after performing this or mapping transformation in ISS then you can see this those that's converted into the columns. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.